they don't keep it as part of St. Christopher's, if we don't merge with them, then I would assume they're looking to close, and that's not what we want. We want to be our own parish. We have our own, we have our own assets. And from what I understand is if we get rid of our, if we merge or we lose our assets, if we sell off our assets, then what happens is it's easier to close the church. But because we do have grounds, we did have a school at one point, we do have a convent that is shuttered because we have no more sisters, then it would make, we have our own. And honestly, I think we're financially, kind of financially independent. I don't think there's any debt that would warrant that we need to be closed. I think it's the shortage of priests, that they have no one to assign to us. We've been through two or three administrators in the last at least 10 years. Um, we have not yet been assigned a pastor. Um, and right now we have Father Joe from St. Christopher's who has taken on both here and there. And we love it here. This is my home. Like I said, I've been a parishioner for 34 years. I went to school here. My siblings went to school here. Um, they closed the school four years ago, I think it was. My children, I was married here. My children were baptized here. My children served mass here. Um, this is my home. This is, this is my parish. And it's a very, even though we're not tremendous, it's very homey because everybody knows your name. Everybody knows who you are. And that's what I like. And it's not, it's not about the money here. It honestly isn't. I mean, some parishes always, you know, we need this, we need that. I mean, they, and everybody, whenever it's time to chip in, we've made our cardinals appeal. Um, when they set a goal, we made it last year. Um, we've always made it. And it's just when we need something, everybody pulls together. If they need something for the church, if the church needs to be refurbished or something, people donate. It's just, it's our church. It's, 